found me sleeping outside where I usually sleep now, and he ordered me to move somewhere else. He said, you cannot sleep in this public space. I told him I have nowhere else to go. He said, I suggest you go and sleep in front of the arch. I then suggested to him that he go sleep in front of the arch. He took my life into my hands. Walk. Freeze. Where do you go if you quickly have to use the restroom? I hate to say this, but outside. And if there's a porta potty, you probably would rather be outside. <laughs> Depending on how dirty or clean it is. If you're lucky and have money in your pocket, you can buy something at a convenience store and use their restroom. If you have no money, there's not very many restrooms to use. Walk. It's really a good The council finds that in areas with high pedestrian traffic and a high incidence of petty crime related to public disorder, individuals sitting or lying in the pedestrian right of way contribute to a sense of fear, intimidation, and disorder. <clears throat> disorder? What does that mean? Contribute to a sense of disorder. Chaos. Disorientation. People laying down on sidewalks? Confusion. They are called sidewalks for a reason. You are not supposed to lay down on these. What about the sense of fear, intimidation, disorder that this law may have been found to contribute to those who need to sit on the ground. The council finds that in areas with high pedestrian high traffic, pedestrian traffic, individuals sitting in the pedestrian right of way are disruptive. What about me? What about me? What about what I am going through? The way you are sitting right now is very disruptive. <laughs> I am sitting down. I don't care about your business. I don't care about your commerce. I'm tired. Individuals sitting or laying down in the pedestrian right of way are disruptive, disruptive to residents. I am a resident. <laughs> am I? Am I not? The council finds that in.